Hello, trading is closed on uh, February 2nd, 2021. We always start with our disclaimer. It's my call for tomorrow, February 3rd, 2021. No guarantee I'm right. I could be completely wrong. And if we get smartly in the undesired direction, the calls kill before the open. My email is mejt.trades at gmail.com. Look for the pattern today with the early high. This is it. Tomorrow has the early low. We said, unless we gapped up, and unless we gapped in either direction and took out this high early, we should see lower prices, and we got such a gap. We had an optional target, and that didn't print in the course Target was down here, gap in the opposite direction, that's kill before the open. This is the target which we'll forget about. During the day, MJT said these drops wouldn't stick, and of course we recovered. Well, we have the same pattern today we had yesterday. We gap up, hit all kinds of higher highs, can't close over any of these highs. And the question is, can the market pull a rabbit out of a hat two days in a row? Because we gapped up new high, higher highs, closed under all the highs. Either we gap and take these highs out early, or lower prices print. Well, time isn't really my thing, price is, but if you connect all these trend lines, you can see how they all came to me today. And it's very common when you have trend lines all meeting and you break below that you rally up to the date where the trend lines come together and find resistance to that date and many times even at this price. We didn't hit the price, we did hit the date. So as far as time concerns, today's one logical place for this to top out. This is kind of a confusing picture. Let's go through it. We're making back-to-back -back diamond on stilts pattern. Here's your diamond. Half a diamond's enough. It's all enough. And today's high as a Fibonacci target of all these patterns. You don't know which lines to pick, but you can pick this. 61.8% were there. You can take the next one. And that's 61.8% were there. And this one, they all meet here. So that's a Fibonacci target. We have the origin of the left stilt is the purple lines, and those are resistance areas, so we stopped right at resistance. This is a retest of prior lows. We get prior lows and then closed under all these highs. That's never good. And this is a cup with a handle sloping up, and supposedly when you break through this upsloping handle, you're supposed to retrace all the cup. I guess we could still have this morph into something else, but if we don't gap up, or I should say gap, and take this out fast, that's the pattern I see. Tomorrow's pattern has a early low. We could gap up. Hardly seems possible. Sunday night, just two days ago, we traded 180 handles lower than we did today. We got the January 28th target way up here. And now the question is, are we going to get the January 29th target? 3701.75. We have time and price confluence at today's high. A day-long rally couldn't manage a close over the midday highs. 
bulls need to overtake today's high promptly, ideally by gapping over your lower prices should print. The futures are up 14 handles as I'm recording this. I'm not going to rule anything out. Be aware if we stayed up most of the night and then gave it all back by the open. We don't know if that'll happen or not, but if that happens, it's an ideal scenario for a major league tank. So we have price and time resistance to this high. We stopped it at um, prior lows. We close under these highs, even under the lows. It's a negative pattern. Now we do have a wall and we are up. So we, we still could gap up and take this out and invalidate the pattern. But I don't predict what happens overnight. And if we don't invalidate this pattern, it's a good recipe to give back everything we gained. And probably pretty quickly too. This wasn't the close. It's up here, but you get the idea. So we're going to have to be very alert for what happens overnight. I don't care how high we are now. The higher we go, the more negative it is if it's all given back by the open. But if we can hold it over recent highs, even though we're going to see this lower price at some point, I don't have another date at this time. So tomorrow has the early low. If you're a bull, you want to keep going up and not give it back. That's today's call.